top five Raspberry Pi emulators to run Python code. Testing Raspberry Pi projects without an actual Raspberry Pi device can be achieved by using emulators and simulators. While it won't fully replace the real hardware, it can help you develop, test, and prototype your projects more easily on your computer. Here are some options to simulate Raspberry Pi projects. The first one is Kemu, which is called Quick Emulator. Kemu is a versatile emulator that can be used to simulate various Raspberry Pi models. You can also run Raspbian or other Raspberry Pi compatible operating systems on Kemu to test your Python code. And keep in mind that emulated hardware might not provide a perfect simulation of a real-world Raspberry Pi, but it can be quite useful for development and testing. And the second one is Raspberry Pi emulation on VirtualBox. You can also set up a virtual machine using VirtualBox and run a Raspberry Pi compatible operating system on it. This method allows you to test your projects on a virtualized environment, which can be useful for development. The other is online Raspberry Pi simulators. Uh, so there are several online simulators that allow you to run Raspberry Pi projects in a virtual environment. These simulators are browser-based and can be a quick way to test your Python code. Some examples of uh, online Raspberry Pi simulators are PyTop, RaspberryPi.io, and Trinket. And the other uh, simulator of Raspberry Pi is Tony ID with Mock GPIO. Tony is a Python ID for beginners that offers a feature called Mock GPIO to simulate GPIO input or output for Raspberry Pi for projects. It also allows you to test your code without the actual or real hardware. And the last one is Raspberry Pi desktop on 32-bit PC. Raspberry Pi OS for uh, x86 is a version of Raspberry Pi OS that can be run on a regular uh, PC. While it is not an emulator, it allows you to run a Raspberry Pi compatible software on a standard computer, which can be helpful for development and testing. You can check out online by visiting raspberrypi.com uh, website. Please note that uh, while these methods can help you develop and test your Python code, they might not fully replicate the experience of running code on a real Raspberry Pi, especially when dealing with hardware-specific interactions. Once your code is tested and working in a simulated environment, you should consider deploying it on an actual Raspberry Pi to ensure its functions correctly in a real-world setting. Additionally, some projects that are purely software-based, for example, home automation with remote control via APIs can be tested without physical Raspberry Pi hardware. Thanks for watching.